So welcome to the tutorial. We continue with the Unity series of tutorials how to make a, a game using Unity 3D. We already created the uh, terrain and the skybox. So we have here, if we select, we have here the terrain and we have the skybox. We imported these uh, folders with for the sky. So okay. If we click on a folder game, we have the sky, skybox and we have the texture. Now, in order to uh, make a real game, we have to have a character. Because this is a first person character tutorial, so I'm going to add uh, the uh, character. So we go to folder, assets, here in the left. And we have to click on the folder standard assets and you see there is a folder inside the folder standard assets where it's called character controllers character controllers we have a third person character and we have a first person character first one character is a capsule because the camera is uh, integrated in the capsule so you actually don't see the character in the case of third person uh, character you will see uh, the uh, character in this case is this guy here and the camera will get it behind his back so you will see the movements of the character how he behaves inside the game so uh, now uh, we start with first person character so let's head to the scene so we select first person we select this um, capsule and we are going to drag it into the scene drag it into the scene so here we can uh, click here on light so we see a little bit better the terrain and now we are going to drag the first person controller prefab to the scene good so we drag the first person controller to the scene we can uh, move it with the arrows with the arrows so you see here, for example, the camera is already integrated into the capsule as the main character. So we can uh, select the camera here on the left, we select the camera and we see uh, the view as the character will see. We see also in the uh, capsule of the first character, our first person character controller, all the scripts attached. We can uh, here on the right drop and we see the camera the camera script the uh, mouse loop script so in this script uh, is going to uh, on this script is the code where uh, the character controller is going to move to the right or to the left and uh, y x and uh, this is uh, coordinates but um, we need to establish first uh, the gravity because uh, the character controller must apply the law of gravity so uh, in order to do now uh, that let's uh, click on the game see and see the uh, character if uh, the physics of the of the first person controller are already applied with the uh, Prefab with the prefab. This is what that's why it's called prefab because it's a uh, ready made uh, prefab that you can use actually to build the game. So, in this case, the prefab is uh, it's a capsule that contains all the scripts. So, now that we have the main camera, we're going to click on play click on game and then click on play here and then we will see exactly how the character will move in the terrain wait a little bit computer is a little slow I'm going to make a pass here. We learn here, and as you see, as I move the mouse, the look of the character is also moving. We can change the sensitivity 
here on the left on the right side sensitivity of x sensitivity of y axis so how the the mouse uh, will look so here for example i can reduce the sensitivity to 5 and here as well i can reduce the sensitivity so actually we can play better with the function of the mouse look in the first person character controller Okay, now I'm going to maximize the window. Maximize the window so we see how the actor will move the scene. To uh, use the arrows because uh, it's already uh, scripted to move with the arrows. I move the arrow on the front so the character will move to the front. If I uh, use arrow to the right, the character will right. If I use arrow to the left, the character will move to the left push the arrow back, the card back, and modify the velocity, how fast we want the card. Yes, so we, for example, <clears throat> that the character is moving quite slow, but it's no problem to modify the uh, movement of the okay? So now that we have the character on the scene, we can add some uh, uh, features and some uh, for mountains or trees, terrain, so it's more interesting. And also, we can add something, subjects uh, collide with the character, and to, uh, for example, we can add coins that the character can collect. We can also add weapons that the character can use. So, well, now you see how the character is moving. Okay, so now we're going to. Here, so we read window again, and now we're going to click on scene in order to see terrain. So the terrain is a uh, sand terrain. We have it here selected. All right. But before you do that, you have to uncheck the play uh, mode because we were in play mode. So let's click on play mode. So uh, because uh, it's important when you. Um, Make make any changes to the scene. If you if you have a uh, switch on the play mode, the changes will not be saved. So you always have to uh, uncheck the play mode here in order to uh, make changes to the scene. So it says it's really easy. So now we can move a little bit the terrain. We can actually change it. To make it a little bigger so here on the right side we can duplicate the size of the terrain x, x uh, arrows with the x we can put two we can also modify it here we don't need to modify y because we don't need the terrain to be um to be uh, to, mo to make any changes in the y in the y um, x axis so actually it's okay right it's okay like that now it's very important to uh, create some um, objects to the, to the terrain so in order to create the objects to the terrain we can select this button yeah this button will help us to uh, create mountains create mountains in the terrain so every time we, we uh, use this uh, feature there will be a mountain created creation but we can also choose uh, different sizes and kinds of brushes we have the brush it is the basic brush we have for example uh, this one that i use quite a lot it will give me uh, a series of uh, different level of mountains that give give us uh, quite a real real aspect of uh, terrain we can also use this one this it's more uh, maybe uh, the area is covered a little bit more area so i'm going to choose this one and i'm going to choose uh, the brush size how 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 big you want the action to take in the terrain so let's put it in 30 so here so you will see now 
I select, I click on the left mouse button and you see when one click there is a mountain there is a, a couple of mountains already created let's see how this look in the game in the game view so now you see for example that the, the terrain has mountains let's maximize let's hit on play let's hit on play it's uh, it's in the mountain too, so you can create this for it. so it's more inter when the character is moving through the mountain rivers we will add us so you see the pick of a real 3d um, game is being created a little bit of mountains to the sand terrain <clears throat> move the camera with the arrow you see the cars moving like like uh, we can say that is the head of the auto as a character so it's moving. with the uh, mouse is moving the camera so we see this here now we have uh, created some mountains so let's go back to so now we are back here on the scene and let's create more mountains so let's change for example the area of the brush size we can put it on 15 and let's select other mountains maybe we can make a higher mountain so we can make two and click so the mountains will be higher in this area of the terrain also we can create some mountains one two three times click so look like some uh, higher mountains mountains so all right so what about if we can add for example water and trees so to start adding a water area right so to we can select area some area of rain for example we can select this area here so in order to do that we can go to the right side to select the brush the brush will be used to paint the area to make it look like there is a, there is a water so um, Okay, we still have time. Let's add a new texture, water texture. So here in edit texture, we can select on add texture. Set. And now here we have of this sky. We don't have textures of water. So let's uh, import some textures of water it will be the same process as we imported the sand so i'm not going to show you again how to import the water so i'm going to make a pass of the of the game and i'm going to uh, import it and we continue so i already imported a water texture we have here the water texture so it's ready to use in the terrain so let's select again terrain and let's add a texture of water to the terrain. We click here on the right side, edit textures, add texture here into this box, add terrain texture. So we will add water texture. All right, and then add. Yes, now in order to paint this area as water to create the water effect we have to set first here to the right select this texture before we have the sand now we have water selected after we select it we have to uh, so uh, the brush size we have to select the br brush size if we want the, the area of water so let's say for example 50 radius 50 I believe and let's start so now you see when you on the scene that there is a water effect all right it has the area in fact it's uh, uh, it's uh, stronger because it's a uh, it's a uh, can explain it as a br brush that uh, you can also add the other effect by example uh, area cube and adding 